Okay, the terrain has been crazy. I mean, just so different. We got the flat, salt flats. You got the mountains. You got the weird rock formations. Just like we're on a different planet. Yeah, it's weird. So we passed this and we had to turn around and come back because when you see something like this on the side of the road, you have to come back. There's a cave way down there and then another up there and then there's some kind of door back here. It says historical district. Foot, Foot traffic. traffic only. Let's investigate. I think someone. Whoa! I think they made a place to live. This was a chimney. A stove was right here. What? So this is somebody's house, you think? I think so. Wow! I d we don't have internet service, so I can't look it up. This is just outside Shoshone, California. And I thought it was an old mine at first, but I can't see what they're mi they would have mined. And then Dave found that opening on the other side where a stove would have been. Yeah, it's just an old cave, and someone just kind of made a window and a door. And yeah, and there are some other caves along that I couldn't get up into, but quite a few little hidey holes here. I don't know. It's so funky. That's what happens when you stop, when you see something interesting. It's a mystery. <laughs> We're in the mystery wagon. <laughs> We're in the mystery wagon. That's pretty accurate. No, we're in the adventure wagon. Good morning. We are in Pahrump, Nevada. It is 6 a.m. We've been up for about a half hour. It's about 27 degrees. It's very cold. Uh, we are at a park here in town because they're having a hot air balloon festival. Okay, so they were looking for volunteers and they volunteered. So he's gonna actually help raise a balloon up. He doesn't have to go up in it, but he's gonna help get it up. So it's pretty exciting. They're so pretty.
Holy schmoly, frozen popsicleville. That was amazing though. That was epic. That was a fun experience. I thought we were going to go and from a distance watch all these balloons take off and it'd be really cool and pretty and it's like... I didn't know we'd actually be like in the balloon arena. Yeah. And the guy's like, hey, can you help me set my balloon up? Like, okay. Okay. Did you, did you say as long as I don't have to go up in it? <laughs> <laughs> I actually would probably go up in it. After doing that, I, I think I would. Yeah. Yeah. But not when it's 30 degrees out. It's so cold. That was it was just so cool. It was just the, and they had this music playing. It was like this like like, like emotional. It was. I know. It Did was, you get that way yeah. too? Because I was like, I was just well, like, it's yeah. awe inspiring. And then they they did the national anthem and then, and then the balloons and the music and I was like, ah. <laughs> I it was a moving experience. I didn't expect to hang out there for that long. But I just didn't want to leave. I was like, and then I uh, there was a bunch of people that had drones up in different areas. So I went off after most of them are up. I I went back and got the drone and found a safe area on the other side of the fairgrounds and kind of flew up just a little ways to kind of get a little bit of air footage. But yeah, we'll see what turns out. I'm gonna apologize in advance if my footage is really shaky. It's because I was shivering. I was so cold. <laughs> so I did the best I could. But if if any of you ever get a chance to to go to a hot air balloon show in person, I would highly recommend it. This, the videos are not going to do it justice, I know. It's just a unique experience for sure. We are going to dump our tanks, get propane. Pistol has a veterinarian appointment, get her shots and medicine for the year. Like we really have to take a look at this weather because... We're going to go south. we got to go somewhere warm, man. We don't know what we're doing, but um, we'll catch you on the other side, so. I can't wait to find out what we do. Yay, adventure! <laughs>